Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at an extension called Path Copy and compare how it works versus native arrays. If you really want to see the benefit of an extension, the best way to do that is to run it up against native tools. There are some extensions where it changes the workflow a little bit, or depending on the case of what you're trying to do, it might help a lot or little. Um, but I always find it very interesting to go in and say side by side, how does this work versus how does this work? And that's exactly the sort of thing we're gonna look at right now. We're gonna look at path copy from this mustard team and we're gonna compare it against using move uh, and rotate making arrays. So let's check that out. All right, so here's the tool we're gonna take a look at. It's called path copy. It is what I would call a classic extension. It's been around for quite a while. It is from the mustard team. Uh, if you're not familiar with Smustard, just say the name of our product out loud. SketchUp, Smustard, it's a joke, it's good stuff. Pause for laugh. And moving on. So what this will do is this will allow you to take a group or component and make copies of it along a path. So I thought, I mean, it's 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 a very simple, it's a free extension. It's It's my favorite kind of extension. It's obvious on how to use it. You click a couple times and then amazing stuff happens. That's the kind of thing I like. But what I want to do is compare this to how does this work versus just using arrays. So let's let's check it out. Here we go. All right, so I have three sets of paths, two sets of three sets of paths, along with a thing, a thing we're going to copy. Um, so let's look at the thing real quick, because this is going to be something to note, especially as we start using path copy. So if I look at this thing, it's got a square cuboid bottom with a cylinder rising up out of it. And if I look at the axis for this component, it's right here in the middle of the bottom of the square. That's gonna be extremely important, especially when we come back to talking about the extension. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this right here and I'm just gonna make a copy of it with move. So I'm gonna go into my move command and at the bottom I have my options to toggle again if you're on Windows, you're going to see slightly different ones. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the modifier key to bring up the plus we're copying. I'm going to grab the first one and I'm going to bring it down here. And we're going to go right to the end of the line like that. And then what I can do is I can say divide that by four. So slash four, hit enter, it'll give me four copies. Um, that's going to say, that's an internal array. That's saying between the first and the last one, give me four of those. The other option I have is to take this first one and say, okay, copy that to right here, that little amount, and say uh, times six. And it's gonna give me, whoops, I did that wrong. Let's try that again. Let's grab that again. Modifier, come here, six, X, enter, and I have now one, two, three, four, five, six copies. It doesn't care about the end of the line. I was just using the line as a reference to copy across, but that's how lineal arrays work. So I can do an interior, exterior using X or slash, uh, pretty simple. Let's look at path copy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to extension, I'm gonna hit path copy. It's gonna say, okay, first select a path. I wanna do it on this linear path. Now select a group or component to copy. I'm gonna use this one. And what it does is it puts it right at the end of the path based on the axis of the component. So dropped it right there. And then based on the distance I have in my UI, it copies as many as it can to fit through along the path. If I want to change that, I can change it down to like, uh, let's say 12 inches. All right, that overlaps, let's go to 24 inches. All right, so there we go. Those are two foot on center, uh, bump it up to 48 inches. I'm using inches, you could use feet, millimeters, centimeters, whatever you need to do. But you can see that's the way it works. Pretty simple, pretty easy. All right, now let's look at making a copy of our thing along an arc. So natively, I would do this with my rotate tool. So I bring up rotate, I'd select select the item I want to copy, rotate, uh, hit the modifier so I have a plus. Now what I do is find the middle of this arc. So if I hover anywhere over the arc, it's gonna give me the, mid, the, the center point of that arc. Just go to that arc, and then I go, okay, I wanna grab this, and I wanna go, same thing. And say come to here, and then say 4x, get four copies, or I could do the same thing by going here, go to the first one, grab, whoops, click 
there. Sometimes I get excited and I forget to uh, do all the steps. You know, I'm like, oh, let's let's go to the next step. But you got to finish step one before you go to step two. OK, there, get, grab the thing I want to copy, bring it here, get the modifier key, bring it all the way around. And then I can say divide that by six or whatever. And I have an array. So it does look, look here how it, it actually turns the face of that that cubic cuboid base. So they're all facing inside. So it actually rotates it as it goes along the arc. Pretty simple, pretty easy, works well. All right, let's look at what we do with path copy. All right, gonna go extension, path copy, grab my path, grab my thing, and there we go, it just goes. And then here again, now I can come in and say, okay, I actually want it every five foot. And I could change that array along the line there. So again, it did actually rotate the piece based on the line segment it was on. So I do have the same rotation, that's nice. Um, but yeah, much quicker, a couple clicks. All right, so one last option here. So I wanna take this and place it every few feet along this path. So natively, I, I can't. What I could do is I could take this and I could break it up into pieces. I could come here and I could say, okay, this flat piece right here, just this, I'm gonna divide that into a bunch of smaller pieces. And then I could come in here and break these arcs apart uh, into smaller chunks and then break each of those into smaller pieces. So I could come in and do that kind of work and, and, and try to manually get some points along the lines and then come in here and grab this by this point and then manually place, 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 or maybe do a linear array across here, but then figure out how far the next one will be and then I have to put it there, rotate it, it could be done, but I think I'd probably spend a good 10 minute video just doing that. So let's talk about path copy. You're gonna be blown away, but path copy works exactly the way the other one did. Select the path, select the thing, and there we go. And you can see here it goes across, goes across, rotates as it goes, rotates as it goes, rotates as it goes. So everything's staying normal to that path. And it doesn't matter what the direction is, like, or, or, or how many segments this is or anything like that. So you know, just do a lineal array from here to here. I need this many or this many evenly spaced, simple. You can do it along a circle, like a watch face or a clock face or something like that. Sure, you could do that. Anything else though, you might wanna look at this free extension. The nice thing about this too, is it's not dependent upon the path. Once it's once I have my things, if these are columns or whatever done, I can just get rid of this. And now I just have these things where I need them. So it can also be useful for doing things like, uh, you know, if I want to put rivets on the side of a ship or something like that, all I need is that initial line and a component for what that rivet's going to be. Let it go put those in there and I get rid of the line and my geometry is going to stay. So there you go. Yes, there are certain situations where it is probably just as easy to use move as is to path copy, but there's definitely an argument to be made for using path copy on those complex paths that consist of more than one edge. Um, I thought that would be a little more interesting than just saying, here's path copy, here's what it does, it's really cool. Um, personally, I am a big fan of kind of, I like native tools, you guys see in my modeling videos, I do a lot of stuff where I try to stay in native tools as long as I can or get as much out of native tools as I can, but I do like extensions, especially, I said, like I said, this is my kind of extension where you just hit it and then you click a couple times and then stuff happens. That's awesome. Um, so, with this extension in particular, uh, it, it does just make it easy. And it's one of those extensions that could easily end up as part of a primarily native tool workflow. So everything else could be done in native tools and then I could just toggle that on, run it. Uh, it falls right in line pretty easy. So it is an extension, but it is free. You can download it right from Extension Warehouse directly into any of the most recent versions of SketchUp. I think I saw in there it was 2020 and up. Um, it does run in 2025. 2025 is now updated on the page. It says up to 24, but I'm running 2025 and it works just fine. So uh, yeah, get it, try it out, check it out, see what you think, and let me know how it works for you. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, do leave us a comment down below. Do you use path copy? Do you like path copy? Do you have another extension you really like? Um, or do you have an idea for a video? Just anything out there. What do you think? Is there an extension we should look at? Is there a workflow we should look at? Do you need help modeling a specific thing? Let us know down in the comments. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more 
when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.